Hey, what's going on? My name is Harrison, and this is going to be an Unreal Engine 4 C++ tutorial on how to rotate an actor around the player uh, using the rotate angle axis function, also using set location and rotation, so the actor is also is always facing the player. So let's go ahead and push play and see what happens. Right now we just have this red cube, and he's spinning around the player's location. And the front of the cube is always pointing towards the player. So let's go ahead and move around and the cube is still with us, it's still moving around, and it's always pointing towards you know, the player. So let's go ahead, let's, hit, let's exit out of this, uh, delete it from the game world, and recreate it in C++. Uh, as always, there should be a GitHub link down in the description below where you can just grab the code and move along. But if you wanna continue watching, then let's continue. Uh, right click, new C++ class, actor. Um, I'm just gonna call him rotating actor, or rotate actor. And create class. All right, the engine just finished uh, creating the files for us. In the header file, let's go ahead and set up our variables. The first one, let's just do a float angle axis. We'll keep track of that later. Next, let's do a U property. Edit anywhere, so we can change it in the editor. I will put it in the category of movement. Uh, that will be an F vector, and we'll call it dimensions. Make a new, another U property. Um, edit anywhere. Uh, again, category, we'll put in movement, so it's easy to find later. Uh, I think this will also be an F vector, and we'll call it axis vector. Um, again, make another one called U property. Um, edit anywhere and put it in the same category of movement. And this will be a float called multiplier. All right, so that should be it for the header file. Let's go ahead and jump into our CPP file. Uh, so what's the first step here? Let's go ahead and uh, in the constructor, declare our default values. These should be good just to start off. Dimensions, let's go F vector, uh, 300, 0, 0. This is telling how much distance I want between the player and the actor. Axis vector, we'll start off at a, at a default of 0, 0, 1. which axis we want it to rotate around and the multiplier uh, will set a default value of 50. Uh, that should be it for the constructor. All, all of the logic will now go into our tick function. So let's go ahead and drop down to our tick function. Every frame we want to run this function or every frame we want to do this. So the first one we want to do is we want to get the actor's location every frame. So if he moves around the game world we always have that location so then we can uh, rotate around it. That'll be f locate f vector new location. It's going to be get world get first player controller arrow operator get pawn arrow operator get actor location. So now I have the player's location. I am using the default first person template provided by Unreal. Uh, next we want to uh, increase the angle axis every frame so we can move it in that smooth circle. And we'll do that by doing angle axis plus equals delta time times the multiplier. So if we increase the multiplier, it'll move faster. If we decrease it, it will slow down. And delta time is the float variable up here, which is the time in between frames. To prevent angle axis from growing indefinitely, uh, if it's greater or equal to 360, let's go ahead and reset it back to zero. Uh, 
Um, now we want to get the rotate uh, value that we're going to be, you know, increasing our location with. We're going to do that as an f vector. Uh, rotate value call it equals dimensions dot rotate angle axis and inside that we'll put our newly defined angle axis um, along with our axis vector that we declared above um, let's go ahead and look at the rotate angle axis function from the from epics document documentation I should be right here so the first so one it belongs to an f vector and the first parameter is the angle degree and the second one is the axis so we go down here and look at this um, the angle to rotate in degrees and then the axis is the axis to rotate around let's jump back into our code and now since we just got that rotate value let's add that to new location so it'll be new location uh, dot x plus equals rotate value dot x. I'm going to copy and paste it twice and we're going to do the same thing for y and z. I have to put my semicolons throughout those. Um, Oh, the next step is we have to get the rotation. So let's do that. We'll do the F rotator. Just call it new rotation. Call it, it's going to be an F rotator, uh, which is going to be zero angle axis and zero again. Now to an F quad, we can't immediately just you, we do, uh, there's been a bug that we've encountered by using rotations and set actors when setting the actors rotation. So that's why instead of just using the rotator, we're gonna convert it to an F quad. Um, F quad rotation, uh, new rotation. And now, after doing all of that, now we can finally set our actor's location at rotation. Set actor location and rotation. And that will do new location. Oh, no space. New location. Quat rotation. Did I spell it right? I think the above one. There we go. Rotation. We'll fill out the rest of the parameters. False, zero, e teleport type none. E -tele uh, let's look at the set actor location and rotation function. Well, I kind of butchered that one. Uh, no spaces in that. There we go. Let's go ahead and look at that in Epic's documentation. Um, it comes from every actor class so actor rotation the first parameter is location followed by the rotation um, again we set the b sweep to false we set the hit result to zero i think and then um there's no teleport type so back in our code we should be able to run it well let's compile it and see if there are any errors Alright, there's some errors. Let's go ahead and debug it. Um, edit anywhere. The 34. Um, You property is far wrong. You property. There we go. That should be right. We had some other errors as well. Uh, 
multiplier, set active location, rotation. So just a bunch of typos. Let me try to clear up as many as I can. Um, multiplier. Yeah, this is spelled wrong for sure. It could be spelled wrong down here below as well. Uh, set actor location and rotation. I think that's right. Uh, the and is capitalized. Uh, let's compile this and see if we can narrow it down further. Uh, member variable declaration mission variable type. That's on line 34. Um, view property. Okay, my fault. Let's delete this semicolon. And now we should uh, have a successful compile. All right, the compile was successful. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it in. Uh, I'm gonna add a cube. Uh, I'm gonna lift it up a little bit, let's push play. And there we go. We have the cube and it's rotating around the player and it's always uh, pointing towards the player as well. Pretty much pointing towards the origin of where it's rotating around. So very cool. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.